Brian White had known he would die of AIDS for five and a half years. And the people who turned out for his funeral today came in large part because of the way he confronted the certainty of his death. White was diagnosed with AIDS in late 1984, a victim of tainted blood products used to treat his hemophilia. What followed were ugly legal fights over the Indiana youngster's right to attend public schools. After and today, a minister AIDS, who knew him well Brian reminded mourners of the public the impact of his battle with AIDS. At first, Ryan and the disease were perceived as one and the same. And as we all discovered, they were so very far apart. In time, we saw the boy and the disease, and they were not the same. Among the mourners were scores of celebrities from the worlds of entertainment and politics, many of whom had worked closely with Ryan White in his fight against the public stigma of the disease. Singer Elton John was at today's funeral, and he was one of the pallbearers, sharing that honor with talk show host Phil Donahue, pro football player Howie Long, and three of Ryan White's high school buddies. Predicts the shadow. Ah.